Howdy pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Elven Drill and in this video I have this HP T640 thin client and I'm having a problem with it when I'm not having a problem. So I'm going to turn on the computer, you see the HP logo, and right away it's going to ask me for a password. So I'm going to try to type the password a few times. So as you can see, I don't have the password. And I'm going to try it one more time. So I don't have the password. I don't know what the password is. So there is nothing we can do here. We cannot do anything with software. We have to reset the password using hardware. Okay, so I have done a bit in the past. I have a playlist about many other models doing the same. So you can click on the top right of this screen. So allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. So this is the, the HP Thin Client. So I'm going to disconnect everything from here and we're going to see how it looks. So this is the Thin Client, this is the front. You can see the HP logo over there, the power button, the USBs. And it's kind of, it's small. And this is the back part of it. Allow me to adjust my camera. So as you can see, it doesn't have any HDMI connector or VGA. It only has projector port, which is very interesting. So you see the net network port over there. So of course, this uh, this, dev this device is Wi-Fi. So now I'm showing you that um, I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches, and I discharge myself of any static electricity that I might I might have in my body. So I don't damage the circuitry. So as you can see, uh, it's very portable. It's very small. So it's the size of your of your hand. Now I'm going to show you a trick. This is not really needed for the video, but if you open this using a Philip uh, screwdriver, uh, a plain screwdriver, I'm sorry. I'm not going to show it, but you can see the MAC address here, the serial number and all that. So I'm going to put it back if you ever need it. It's very easy, So, but here I was doing it incorrectly. So now I'm going to turn it over. This is the power button and this is the back. So this is kind of a lock over here. So you move it like that and you can remove this part. So we need to have access to the motherboard. So that's why we're removing parts. So you see this kind of um, green button. So you have to press it to release the top cover. So like that, you press it and now I'm going to try to open it. Like that. So once you have removed that, you can see all the motherboards. You can see the hard drive, you can see the, the processor, the CMOS battery. So what we are looking for is a jumper, a uh, password jumper. So uh, it depends, depending on the model, it's going to be in different parts of the motherboard. But in this uh, model, well, it's very small, you can see it. It's over here. I'm going to do a close, I'm going to, uh, yeah, so I believe that's okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm zooming in on the motherboard. So if you can see it over there, it says password. Well, P S W. So that's the jumper that we need to to remove. So the uh, the password when we, we when we turn on the computer is going to disappear. So and uh, you might be asking, what is this? This is the CMOS. Um, reset. If you press that one, every configuration you have in the BIOS is going to be uh, deleted, like the time or what hard drive is the main one, for example. So, but it's not going to remove the password that we are that we don't know about. So, I'm going to just remove it just with your fingers. You don't need, you don't need to touch the motherboard, and you remove it like that. So, in this case, the jumper is black, but I have found uh, colors like green and blue. So we're going to put it aside just like that. And now I'm not going to cover it, okay? But I'm going to connect everything back to see how it looks. So while I'm doing that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So after I have connect everything, I'm going to allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. I'm going to turn it on and start pressing escape, okay? So I'm pressing escape. You see the HP logo, and now I have access. It's not asking me for any password, all right? So as you can see, this is the, this is the startup menu, and we can go to system information using the, the keyboard. So we press enter, and we're going to see all the information about this uh, HP Thin Client. So you can see the model there, T640 Thin Client. You can see the RAM, four gigabytes. You can see the processor, AMD Ryzen, 
you can see the processor speed, the memory speed, the firmware BIOS, which is M43 version 1.0. You can see a lot of information about this model. So if you press down a little, just a little down, you can see the chassis serial number. Uh, you're not going to see it in my case, but there is the serial number if you ever need it. All right. So we don't have much to do here. So I'm going to press escape and now I'm going to go to computer setup or you can press F10 on the keyboard. Press enter. And this is the menu, as you can see on the top, file storage security. I'm going to go to security and you can see set up password and power on password. So the password we just have deleted or removed is the power on password. That means every time I turn on the computer right away, is going to ask me for a password. That's for security reasons. The other set of password is to access where we are right now, the HP setup utility or the BIOS configuration. So if you have that uh, configured, the setup password, you can access the, the computer, you can go to the operating system, but you cannot access here. So I'm going to press enter on the power on so you can um, create a password. I always advise to do it, but I'm not going to do it for this example. So I'm going to press um, escape ignore changes and exit well we haven't done any changes but i'm just going to to press it uh, press enter over there yes yeah, save the changes yes so allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera now we're back on on the device so i'm going to disconnect everything one more time and i'm going to put back the jumper so as you can see there that's how you have to place it back so it's over here i'm going to rotate it like it was at the beginning so it's more so you can see it better Allow me, allow me a few seconds to zoom to zoom in. So that's how you that's how are we going to put it back like that. You just press it a little, not very hard. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to even touch the motherboard. So now we are going to put back uh, the cover for this um, for this thin client. So I'm looking which one is the right way. So this is the right way. Um, I'm just going to put it back. So you have to press it and it's going to sound like that. Once that's done, we have to put back the back cover. <laughs> and this looks like this, it's very easy to do it. So just like that. And you press it. That's pretty much it. So make sure everything is um, as it was before. So nothing is going to fall off in the future. So we have it like that. And now we're going to connect everything just to show you that it's working with the jumper back. So nothing is going to change. We should have access to the operating system and all that. So I'm going to press the power button. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. I'm pressing escape right now. And you can see that I still have access to the startup menu. If you don't press escape, it's going to go directly to the operating system, which in most cases, since this is a thin client, is going to be Linux, some flavor of Linux. OK, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to reset the power on password or setup password on this HP thin client. So maybe you now want to watch one of these videos. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.